My fascination with the Nike Off-White collab began the first time I saw this. The Nike Off-White Jordan 1 Chicago. Guys, it was immaculate. Who would ever think of deconstructing a sacred icon like this, the Jordan 1? The sneakers that helped shape the culture that we have today. It was a bold move by Nike to allow young visionary off-white designer Virgil Abloh to deconstruct 10. 10 of the most celebrated and most loved iconic Nike silhouettes. Sacrilegious to some, but for most of us, this is art. Julius Babau Unplugged. Julius Babau. Julius Babau Unplugged. Julius Babau Unplugged. Sabi nga ni Virgil Abloh sa interview ng Nike sa kanya, it's nothing short of state-of-the-art design. These 10 shoes have broken barriers in performance and style. To me, they are on the same level as a sculpture of David or the Mona Lisa. You can debate it all you want, but they mean something, and that's what's important. And just like art, where famous artists like Andy Warhol, Banksy, or even Koss reimagined these icons and created their own interpretation of already existing artworks, Virgil just applied the same template on the 10. With the 10 out in the open, the lines between art, fashion, sports, and music are blurred. To cut a long story short, guys, Virgil wanted to honor the sneakers for their contribution to the culture and for standing the test of time. And I'm sure at one time in our lives, one or two of these silhouettes not exactly the off-white, have become a part of it. For me, it's the Jordan 1. When I was in my teens, almost all the kids wanted to own one. Unfortunately, I was able to get one at that time, but the idea or the dream of having one someday stuck to my mind. I'm sure many of you, especially those already in your middle age, can relate to this story. So I divided these sneakers into two themes based on Virgil's own grouping. So, balikan yan yan. This group is called the Revealing, while this group is called the Ghosting. Okay? In Revealing, Virgil wanted to highlight the strongest features of each sneaker through a tongue-in-cheek approach, stating what is already obvious. This includes the Air Jordan 1, the Nike Air Max 90, the Nike Air Presto, the Nike Air Vapor Max, and the Nike Blazer Mid. <laughs> Let's look closely at the details of the Chicago. Ito kasi yung pinaka iconic among all the 10. Instead of leather, Virgil used nylon fabric on the vamp as well as on the uppers. And you will see a swoosh, a leather swoosh that's not completely stitch to the sneakers but uh, stitch on both ends to have that uh, loose appearance as if it's just part of a uh, parang study no uh, pattern for a permanent sneaker of course you still have that uh, leather feature on the toe box it's uh, all uh, leather as well as the heel tab it's all it's leather as well there's a flap and from outside, you will see the Jordan Wings logo uh, printed on the leather. But inside, there's the 85, which is to uh, remind us that the Jordan 1 Chicago was launched in 85. As you can see, a text here that talks about the history of the Jordan 1. There you go, off-white for Nike Air Jordan 1, made in Beaverton, Oregon, USA in 1985. If you look really close, there is a dotted outline of the swoosh right over here, going to the back. Virgil is known for stating what is already obvious, so he put it there. He put the uh, shoelace, shoelaces on the shoelace itself. <laughs> and there's the logo of the Nike Air, but you also notice that the tongue has that unfinished look. 
parang hindi tinapos and uh, yung mga uh, parts pa ng ano hindi malinis yung ano yung dulo uh, parang naka parang hindi siya natahi ng maayos which of course is uh, uh, intentional no even at the back ganun din and inside you will see the 10 the 10 uh, logo all of the 10 that uh, uh, Off-White and Nike release have this branding, the 10. And it wouldn't be an Off-White collab without the zip tie. And on the zip tie, there are also texts. There. Here, on the midsole, it's the same as the ones. Same, except for this. Ang ginawa kasi ni Virgil dito, he wanted to make sure that there's air inside <laughs> yung mga sneakers ng Nike. So, winarak niya to, no? Yung original, winarak niya to find out if there's really air. Instead of an air dock or an air window, Virgil decided to just put air there because he was able to prove that there is air inside the sneakers. Let's now move on to the Ghosting Group. According to the Nike website, Ghosting was designed with translucent uppers to further the idea of revealing and unite the second set of silhouettes through common material. All the silhouettes are mostly a mix of white fabric, plastic, and rubber. These include the Converse Chuck Taylor, Nike Zoom Fly, Nike Air Force Low, Nike React Hyper Dunk 2017, and the Nike Air Max 97. This is one of my favorites, guys, because it is unique in appearance. Diba? Pag tinignan mo, para siyang ghost. <laughs> Transparent, no? Of course, from the side, you will see the standard Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor. Uh, very uh, memorable for many of us, especially when we were in our uh, elementary days. Uh, ito yung pinakasikat noon, at least in my generation. Just like the other sneakers in the 10, it has a bit of history on the side. It says Off-White for Converse, Chuck Taylor All-Star, uh, Malden, Massachusetts, USA. Meaning it was made in Malden, Massachusetts, USA in 1917. Oh guys, ha? Hindi pa tayo pinapanganak noon. Mga great-great-granddad pa natin at grandmas ang nabubuhay ng panahon na yun. Sinusuot na nila itong Chuck Taylor. Among all the collection, this is undoubtedly the most iconic of all. Although it doesn't have the swoosh, guys, because originally it belonged to a company owned by Converse. But from my understanding, it is now owned by Nike. This is very different from the classic Converse sneakers, wherein it's famous for its canvas uh, uppers. This is made of uh, plastic. Uh, he just wanted to make that statement that this sneaker is vulcanized. And again, stating already what's obvious, he put right there on the right pair. On the other pair, it's left. And the shoelace is also different. It's made of uh, nylon, unlike the original, which is uh, a different kind of fabric. And of course, you have the zip tie over here. Uh, may mga nakaligdin na mga text dyan sa a, a, a zip tie. On the outsole, you will see the logo of Converse All-Star Size 11. The outsole is also made of translucent uh, rubber. Uh, it wouldn't be a Nike Off-White collab without this, uh, stating what's obvious, which is shoelaces. And let's open it and see what's inside. It comes with comes with a black lace and an extra white lace with green ends. Uh -huh. Inside, you will see the 10 logo. It's almost transparent. And kitang kita mo kung ano nasa loob. Kaya kung ano suot mong socks, makikita yan. If you're not wearing socks, it can also be seen.
the first two groups did not stop Virgil from creating other variations of the 10. And I was able to complete the three colorways of the Jordan 1. The first one I showed you is the Jordan 1 Chicago. And I also have the Jordan 1 UNC. UNC meaning Union University of Northern Carolina kung saan nag-graduate si Michael Jordan. Actually, nung pinirate si Michael Jordan ng Chicago Bulls from UNC, ang gusto talagang uh, i-launch ni Michael Jordan na sneaker para sa Nike. Yung pinaka-first pair niya ng sneakers is the UNC pero hindi ito in ng mga boss at uh, Nike and of course, it does not conform with the standards of the NBA. So, ang nilaunch niyang unang-unang sneakers ay yung bread yung black na naging controversial din because uh, apparently it was banned On September 15th Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe On October 18th the NBA threw them out of the game Fortunately the NBA can't stop you from wearing them Air Jordans from Nike. He also came out with a European release of the white colorway, which is also uh, gorgeous. Guys, nakita niyo naman, no? Ang ganda ng itsura niya. Uh, hindi masyadong loud, but of course, it also uh, contains the details na katulad din nung uh, ibang uh, colorways. So, there you go, guys. I'm extremely happy that I was able to collect the 10 silhouettes within three months. It is no joke, guys. It is a very expensive goal. Many still find it strange to spend money on expensive sneakers, but I believe otherwise, guys. I look at sneakers in the same manner that Virgil Abloh looks at them. Some are not just sneakers. They are artworks. As artworks, their value goes up through the years, and that's a sure ball. Of course, you have to maintain them in good condition. As I always remind you guys, especially the young ones, do not envy, but continue to dream. Use them as your life goals. Study hard, work hard, always pray, and believe that one day, all your dreams will come true. I hope I was able to enlighten you guys about the history of the 10. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. And thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to put your comments below and like this video and hit the notification bell. Me and the 10 are saying goodbye for now. Bye guys.